Good morning all, Mac Blogs here, aka Ian. I'm back at Blair Drum and Safari Park. It has been a while. Um, I do enjoy a trip out here to Blair Drum and Safari. The weather is a bit off and on with the rain, so hopefully I do get a good day here. And yeah, I'll just go with the flow. So the main reason I like this park is because it reminds me of Disney's Animal Kingdom. Just small parts of it, obviously. Disney's Animal Kingdom is a great park. Um, and I'm going to Walt Disney World very, very soon. So I'm trying to get myself back in the mood, back in the mode uh, of going back over. So I'm looking forward to that. But just now, yeah, join me today uh, for a day here at Blair Drum Safari. I'm not going to cover all of it. I'm just going to have a nice day, nice relaxing day and enjoy what I can from here. So join me today in today's video. Let's go and have some fun. received this literature um, roughly it is about what time is now half past 11 and it's starting to get busy just now so you do get a free sticker so a Blair Drum and Safari sticker you can put on your car if you wish uh, some information here so this is a map which we'll have a look in a moment and some more information in regards to the drive through reserve so I am going to go through the reserve just now, so after I explain a little bit more and show you the map, I'm going to go through, through the, the the safari, the reserve, uh, first. So I'm going to do that first, and then possibly do it again, but I'll probably not do it again. I'll probably just do it just now, because I usually, when I've been here before and done the videos before, I have left it till last. So we're going to go through the safari first, uh, first thing this morning, and see what animals we can see in the morning. So opening the map up, this gives you an overview of what's going on here and some times there as well so uh, birds of prey display time sea lion training animal talks you have kind of food places so safari shack grill different restaurants donuts <laughs> but yeah this is where i am i'm parked here just now last time i was here if you watched my videos i was uh, there so if you want to see previous trips myself previous vlogs from Blair Drummond I will link those videos down below but yeah I have driven in around in here all the way around and parked up here I'm going to go through the safari park just now see what animals we can see and then we'll park back up again and then go see some dinosaurs and go and see some animals go to Chimp Island all these cool places so looking forward to it I don't think the the boat there used to be a boat that takes you from here all the way around to Chimp Island. I don't think they do that anymore. Used to enjoy that when I was younger. But yeah, let's get ourselves through the safari, see what animals we can see, and yeah, uh, have a good day here walking around with a drum and safari. So here we go, let's get into the safari, the animal reserves. Make sure you keep your windows up and don't feed any animals, keep yourself safe. Let's get inside. So if you have seen my trips to Blair Drum and Safari. I'm laughing because I know what's coming. Um, before, if you've seen my vlogs before from Blair Drum and Safari, I'm not great with animals. So apologies if I can't name an animal or don't know what the animal is, but I will show you what uh, what I see, of course, and how I experience it. I haven't seen any animals just yet, I don't think. Nope, I haven't seen anything yet. But yeah, um, yeah, it's great to be back here. Really, really enjoy this park. Oh. There's some animals. Don't 
but if you can just see them there, look at the size of the horns. Here we see some rhinos, see? And no rhinos. I'm going to say they are deer, but probably not. <laughs> There's a lot of animals out this morning. So I'm leaving the first section. You've got these big gate, green gates that are keeping everyone safe, all the animals in different areas. Now we're going to the next area, see what we can see. It looks like we're going into the lion reserve, so I'm just waiting. There's a, a queue of cars. Quite a busy time to come in the morning. I think everyone wants to see the animals waking up um, before probably they get fed and then disappear and go and relax uh, as the day goes on, maybe. But yeah, that's the gates just open now to get into the line reserve. So let's see if we can get up close and personal with the windows closed to some lions. I think some of them are still sleeping. I can also see one. It's up in the kind of podium. We'll see that in a moment. So you've got one just there and one up on the podium lying down. You can barely just see it, but if you've been watching my videos before from here, with that walkway, we can have a look. Oh, it's moving. Oh! What's it doing? Oh, are they playing? Wow. Incredible. Absolutely incredible, look at that. They're both playing. They're both talking to each other. Right, let's continue. That's the thing sometimes with safaris, you just don't know what to expect. Sometimes you just won't see any animals, um, and you get moments like that, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, let's, let's head back, well, let's head out of the lion reserve and into the next section. So, where all the cars are queuing back up again, where there is uh, another set of green gates which are closed, and then we need to wait uh, to get through them. Looks like we're going to go and see these monkeys. Look at the, the warning sign there. For the, the monkey jungle. Monkeys will climb on your vehicle and will cause damage. We accept no responsibility. Yeah. Okay. This is going to be fun. I've been here before and the monkeys have been behaving well. So, let's hope they behave. Again, that's a life right there. Just sunbathing. There's no sun, to be fair, but relaxing on the roof of your home. Don't know if you can quite see. Well, there's one there. You can quite see them chilling out in the little openings there. I believe that's where they all sleep at night inside there. I have one just lying there. I thought it was a rock to begin with. Oh, hey! Here we have some monkeys on a little platform, high level. Got like a rope they can run along as well. Have some fun. But I think they've all been fed this morning. They've had their breakfast and they're all just relaxing. We have a few. I don't know if you can quite see them. Obviously we have two right next to us. That's a very big. And then we have one just on the tree line. On the tree line, on the log there. 
don't even quite see it there. And that's it, so I never got attacked by monkeys. Gotta head out of the monkey reserve. And on to the next reserve. That brings an end to the safari, but I am going to go back into the park now and we can see some animals inside because I think, well, the rain is starting, but the rain has been on and off. So you can go back through the safari on your way back out, so you can go exit that way. I'll let myself just now, I am going to go back into the park. So I'm out of the car, out of the safari, I've managed to get myself a coffee. I've just got some cover here next to the elephants because of the rain. Like I say, the rain is off and on at the moment. So I'm going to sit and hope the rain goes off. I don't know if you can just see the elephant over there. I'll try and get a closer look. There's a gap here. There we go. I'm actually in the rain now. I need to watch my camera with the, the rain, of course. But there's the elephant undercover. And later on we can have a look inside the habitat as well. I think I'm going to head over to the Lima land, take the bridge over and have a look at the Lima land and enjoy my coffee. So it is starting to get really busy at the park, so I would recommend trying and get in early if you can and get parked up. And uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah, really good to be back. Let's head into Lima land. The rain has stopped for now. Look at these big swans. So that is one of the boats that used to take you round down the water there to Champ Island. Of course that's no longer operating just now. Let's head over this bridge and go say hello to some lemurs. You can also hide a higher in a pedaloo on those big swans and swim around in there. Let's go inside to Lima land. So, no food or drink, I finished my coffee. Let's get in. I think I said this on the last time I walked through here. There's just something about walking through here that's really peaceful. You can see all the trees, it's nice and relaxing. The smells. Yeah, I don't know what it is, I just can't put my finger on it, but something nice just walking through here. That's why I would like to do more of these kind of walks at, in Florida and Orlando. You get those kind of walking trails. So, yeah, let me know if you'd like to see that. I'll see more of the walking trails in Florida when I'm over there. Just leave a comment down below or on my social media. A bit dark there. So yeah, I'm hoping the rain stays off. Just look at this, just a bit of wilderness. I don't see any lemurs yet, but I'm just enjoying walking through here. Well, it's not often you get to see the lemurs getting fed in the morning. I think I just timed it just right.
Got one year when it's smart. It's came over here itself. It's got all the food to itself on the other side. Oh. Try to get some more food and some exercise at the same time. go through these double magnetic gates so both sides have to be closed for this side to open So I have left Lemurland, I've come to the opposite end of the park and I walk my way back towards Lemurland. So we've got some sea lions over this way, tigers over this way, we've got kind of pets uh, for farm pets. So let's take a walk around, have a look at this area and walk our way back. I think he's wanting food. He's making a lot of noise. Look at the little guinea pigs. You've got a post office and a castle. And a police station. I'm not even going to attempt guessing the animals because last time I came here, or a few trips ago when I came here, yeah, a few folk pointed out that I'm poor with animals. I don't see anything here. So it's a really cool playground. Oh, what do we have here? We've got one inside a shed here. Is that a goat? Who knows?
I'm just glad that the rain has stopped just now for a couple of minutes and a little stroll on the outside things my kind of method behind the madness is walk from the far end go to the middle and then go back to Lima land that way I'm catching everything and some of the outside stuff just now while it's just not raining because you can go indoor to some habitats and see some giraffes which we're going to do soon <laughs> Got the names Goatzilla Leonardo DiCaprio Goat Vincent Van Goat and Ryan Goatling So if you're looking for a viewing area for the tiger, I suggest coming into the pet area and you'll see this bit here, I'll show you in a minute, we'll go and have a look inside. You've got a viewing area just in there and we can go and have a look at that just now, see if we can see the tiger. Look at that, wow. It's not often you get to see that close. <laughs> Coming back away. Yep. Looking for breakfast. The size of it. How awesome is that? It's not often you get to see that tiger up close like that anyway. So there you go. My recommendation worked. We got up and up close to a tiger. Um, I'm talking quite fast because the rain's coming on and I'm going to protect my camera, so I'm heading back out of the pet farm area and we can say hello to the big pigs that are here and we can go on our way and see what else we can see the size of these pigs look at that Huge. Right. Let's go here and maybe get indoors somewhere. Let's go into dinosaurs. No, I won't do it. I won't do it. I get copyright. I always really enjoy coming through here. So, if you are a fan of dinosaurs, of course, this is amazing. If you love Jurassic Park, and I do, oh, hello, and you will enjoy this. That was him. That was a Stegosaurus saying hello to me. I only know it's a Stegosaurus because it says it on that plaque. <laughs> He's shaking his head at me, or she's shaking his head at me. What's that, a uh, Brachiosaurus? which means arm lizard there you go, I never knew that so a while ago I did put a video up just as I walked through for this zone in this area and I'll put that link down below as well you can have a look it's just a dinosaur area the triceratops Yes, I had to look at the plaque to find out what it was. I should know that, but I don't. <laughs> Here we have some baby eggs. Baby eggs? Baby dinosaurs. The Oviraptor. What's that say? Egg robber? Very hard to vlog through a camera. Nothing hatched while I'm standing here, which is good. Oh, 
What's that? An irritator. I think I was irritating it a moment ago. And there we are. So, really, really cool dinosaur area. Always enjoy walking through that. And do we have some raptors here as well? I can't believe the sun's out now. Sun, rain, sun, rain. Where should we go next? Some really good photo ops as well. A lot of areas I can't record just now for obvious reasons, but yeah, some really cool photo ops. You can get some photos inside a broken dinosaur egg and a dinosaur cage. Yeah, pretty cool. I always enjoy walking through a dinosaur area. So I came up to see the lions. Oh, good timing here, they're all playing. <laughs> Quite a few of them up on that platform. That is the life right there. Let's head over. Go and say hello to the giraffes. There's something very fascinating about giraffes for me. The why, but they just look cool. Oh, is that one coming out? Nope, just eating. Apparently, they just eat all day. Once again, we just don't know what you're going to see and what you're going to get. I've made it over to the Chimp Island. And it is very busy, so I'm going to go around to the other side. Hopefully we can see the chimps. I can just see one there. And if you can see the zoom, we'll capture. There you go. Let's go around. See if we can get a better view. There's also a QR code which we can scan and it gives you the talks, the chimp talk. So if I can overlay that audio or even put a clip of that in and you can scan it yourself and have a look. But let's go around and have a look at the chimp island. So Chimp Island was very very busy, so hopefully I got some good clips in there and you can have a look. We just missed a talk as well, so there's a few talks for each enclosure or area and animals, main animals. Let's go and see if the rhinos are inside. Very unusual for all three of them to be inside. another QR code if you want to listen to the rhino keeper talk. So this will be where the rhinos sleep at night. 
nice and dry indoors. Right, let's go see the elephants. Let's go and see if we can see the elephant, either outside or inside. So the elephant is not outside, like earlier on today. Usually see it outside playing, eating. And it goes in and out, this big door. So we'll go inside, see if we can see the elephant. At least the rain stopped for now. I always wonder if there's big gates there, so there must be a reason for those gates. <laughs> right, let's go inside. Do not climb the fence. came over to where I kind of began the video just after coming out of the reserve and the elephant we just seen is now outside I believe it's the same one I think there is one elephant here, I don't think there's two but I could be wrong it's outside now but yeah that's where I'm going to end the video I'm not going to go back through the reserve. Probably a short and sweet video. Just wanted to do a kind of flying visit back over to Bear Drum Safari, see what was different. I will link down the videos that I have done before in the description box down below. So if you want to watch them, there's some more detail on some of them, maybe some different things I see in different days. It's always like that in safaris and kind of like a zoo type attractions. So yeah, that's really it. So. Thank you for watching, I am going over to Walt Disney World very very soon so hit subscribe uh, to follow my adventures over in Florida, Orlando and other things coming up as well. So thank you for watching, I will see you all very very soon. Thank you, bye bye.